Good morning. My name is Marco Bestagno. I work in the Molecular Immunology Lab at ICGB, and I am one of the inventors in a patent disclosing a technique for the development of a genetic vaccine effective against the four known serotypes of dengue virus. As you may already know, dengue is a mosquito-borne infection representing one of the most important infective agents in tropical and subtropical countries. The infection causes flu-like illness and occasionally develops into a potentially lethal complication called severe dengue or dengue hemorrhagic fever. The incidence of dengue has grown dramatically in recent decades, thus becoming a major international public health concern. According to the World Health Organization, over 3 billion people, over 40% of the world's population, are now at risk from dengue and current estimates indicate that there may be 50-100 million dengue infections worldwide every year. To date, however, neither a fully functional vaccine nor an effective antiviral therapy is available. Dengue virus is characterized by the existence of four distinct infective serotypes, dengue virus 1, 2, 3, and 4. In this slide, you can notice that the individual serotypes are no longer geographically confined, but are rapidly spreading worldwide. The existence of four serotypes constitutes a major problem because recovery from infection by one serotype provides lifelong immunity only against that particular serotype, but cross immunity to the other serotypes after recovery is only partial and temporary. In addition, cross-reactive antibodies directed against non-neutralizing epitopes can increase the uptake of opsonized viral particles by the cellular receptor for immunoglobulins, thus favoring disease progression, a mechanism known as antibody-dependent enhancement. Therefore, Sequential infections with viruses of different serotypes increase the risk of developing the more severe forms of the disease. For this reason, we set to develop an efficient vaccine for dengue virus able to induce neutralizing antibody responses for all four serotypes. Protein E of dengue virus is the main component of the viral envelope and is involved in virus internalization and fusion with the cellular membrane resulting in the release of the viral genome into the infected cell. Protein E consists of three different and discrete structural domains, of which domain 3 is the main target for antibodies capable of neutralizing virus infection. We focused on domain 3 of protein E, derived from all four serotypes, to engineer a genetic vaccine with optimal immunogenic properties. A genetic vaccine is based on the delivery of a genetic construct encoding the immunogen, in our model the D3 antigen. Our vaccine contains genetic constructs encoding engineered versions of the D3 antigen from all four dengue serotypes. Upon delivery of the DNA, cells of the host express the recombinant proteins that induce the immune response. A DNA-based genetic vaccine presents several benefits. It does not involve expensive protein production and purification. It is easy and safe to administer, and given the intrinsic stability of the DNA molecule, does not require a strictly unbroken cold chain, thus making its production and distribution easy and affordable also for developing countries. Our results demonstrate that genetic immunization represents a good surrogate of infection and is highly efficient in inducing neutralizing antibodies against all four dengue serotypes. For a genetic vaccine aimed at inducing a strong antibody response, it is essential that the encoded antigen is efficiently produced and secreted from the cells of the vaccinated host that have uptaken the construct. Availability of soluble antigen is crucial to activate B cells for antibody production. To obtain efficient secretion, a signal leader peptide was therefore fused to the end terminus of D3 to allow translocation into the secretory pathway. To increase efficiency of expression, each D3 domain has been fused to an exogenous domain that allows very high secretion levels from mammalian cells for all four serotypes. In addition, the design of the antigen is dimeric, further increasing activation and uptake by B cells. A further improvement in the expression level has been obtained by codon optimization of the genes encoding the 4D3 domain. Genetic immunization is the best way to induce conformational antibodies, which have the highest neutralization properties. 
our anti-dengue DNA vaccine is administered by gene gun delivery. This technique allows intradermal delivery that represents a preferred site for priming of the immune system. Preclinical studies in mice showed that our genetic vaccine induced a strong immune response against D3 of all four serotypes, characterized by long-lasting and high titer antibody responses, induction of conformational antibodies reacting against the native antigen, high and effective neutralization titers for all four serotypes with low cross-reactivity. Virus neutralization was determined by observing the reduction in the number of viral plaques after incubation of the same number of viral particles with different dilutions of sera. Here, a typical result obtained with dengue serotype 2 is shown. We observed that all four genetic constructs are able to induce strong neutralizing antibody responses, also in tetravalent formulations. The design of the genetic constructs of the present invention offers the possibility to develop an effective anti-dengue virus vaccine covering all four serotypes. At this stage, we are looking for partners willing to collaborate to further develop our vaccine. In particular, to test our novel genetic vaccine in animal models of dengue virus infection to evaluate virus protection efficacy and rule out the possibility of antibody-dependent enhancement of infection, to evaluate alternative delivery techniques of the DNA genetic constructs, to expand the range of immunogenic constructs, to develop clinical trials for the assessment of the efficacy of our vaccine in humans. Our final objective is to bring our tetravalent anti-dengue vaccine to the clinical practice. Thank you very much for your attention.